As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to put up Mr. Logic money that you don't even really know no millionaires in real life. All of your millionaires that you know, you follow them on Instagram and they mythical. You don't even have a phone number. You can't call them. You don't have no access to them. And you don't really know what their lifestyle is like. You don't know the sacrifices that they make. And as far as them not being able to spend an extraordinary amount of time with their family every day because they grinding and they hustling. You don't know nothing about that life. You don't know nothing about the grind. You don't know nothing about waking up at 4.30 and 5 in the morning every single day. That's what my life has been like for the last 10, 12 years. I get up at 4.30 in the morning every day. Every day. It don't matter if I'm meeting with my Patreon members and I'm out of town. I'm still on Eastern Standard Time and I'm still getting up at 4.30 in the morning every day. I don't miss. I don't take days off when it comes to being able to pour into y'all. That's what it takes. Why do I do it? Because I don't want you to have any excuses as to why you can't do it. I'm so amazed at people and them not really putting things in perspective as far as what it takes in order for you to be successful. You cannot do ordinary things and think that you're going to get extraordinary results. Let me say that one more time. You cannot do ordinary basic B things. And I got to say B because I have literally given hundreds of dollars to my daughter. She is hounding me and harassing me because my wife is taking a tally of every single time that I cuss. My mother literally called me a day ago and said, Anton, what the heck is going on? The first words that came out of your mouth on the Lapeef Let's Talk show was some curse words. I feel like you're just cussing for no reason. I'm going to hold you accountable. I said, oh, my God, freaky Jason, please don't let my family be on my head. So I can't really I'm trying to monitor my words because this thing is getting really expensive. I mean, literally, my wife and my daughter is charging me like 10 to 20 dollars for every cuss word. They are my they went and hacked and got the the. The access to my cash app. They're transferring themselves money. What the heck is going on in this house? I don't know. I have no control. I have lost control of my wife, my daughter, my mom, and I have to wrestle it back. And the only way that I can do so is by holding myself accountable and not cussing as much. Maybe not anymore, but as much. But let me get back to this, right? Again, you cannot do basic B stuff or normal everyday stuff and expect extraordinary results. There is no shortcut to success. You cannot take the elevator. I don't care how many articles they promote to you in the news that this people and that person and this group played the lottery or they got rich off of cryptocurrency. It does not work that way, ladies and gentlemen. All of these people that sold you these meme stocks and they wanted to get in GameStop and I'm a doge coiner. Where's all of the losses? It's a ton of people that got their head kicked in, their head bashed in, and they are not having these conversations with us, ladies and gentlemen, at all. You cannot sit here and tell me that you can work a nine to five every day, not be intentional, not budget your money, not do what it is that you're supposed to do, not lower your expenses. And then you're just going to automatically somehow someday magically appear to be a millionaire. Do you know that I spent the overwhelming majority of my college years hunkered down in the library? And then there's going to be people that just show up and say, I know more than Anton. I lived it. I did it. I read it. I studied it. I went to school for it. And then I actually participated in it. I failed. I won. I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, and then I won bigger, meaning that I had to fail forward so many times, but I had to have the courage to even be able to jump off the bridge in the first place to even figure out how it is that I can not only tread water, but eventually be able to swim like an Olympic swimmer when it comes to this business game and get into this money. But ultimately, ultimately, I had to operate outside of what everybody else deemed to be normal in order to get extraordinary results. You're not listening to me today. I don't have Rita over here talking about Anton. I'm writing down cuss jar stuff right now. I am about to straight up show enough 
get in my bag when it comes to getting to this money. If you are not on this live stream and you're not having this conversation with me about getting to this paper, then that's your fault. Your fault for sleeping in because you should not be doing basic B stuff, going out, making sure that you're not disciplined and then not being able to wake up for church. I extended it all the way to 11.45 today. You didn't even have to show up at 11 or 11.15 because we was having such good conversations on a late night live stream on another channel that I had to extend it to 11.45 just to make sure that I can get in the shower, shave my head, I can be in the best space possible, and then I can pour into you today. And you gonna sit here and tell me that you're not going to wake up earlier than me or at least at the same time as me, be as dedicated as me, and then you're supposed to get better results than me. How, Freaky Jason? How is that possible? You know what the interesting thing about it? You know what the biggest thing that I hear people say about me all the time? How is it even possible for a person to work as much as Anton? Because millionaires just sit back and they chill all day and they just let other people run their businesses. Use a lie and the truth ain't in you. I do not know any millionaire that does not go out of his way to work at least 12, 14, 16 hours every day with no weekends off. When they spend time with their family, they have to schedule it in. I don't know anybody that's getting to the bag. And I'm not talking about somebody that's 80 and retired. I'm talking about people that are actively participating and grinding and hustling. Go across the board. As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to put up Mr. Logic money that you don't even really know no millionaires in real life. All of your millionaires that you know, you follow them on Instagram and they mythical. You don't even have a phone number. You can't call them. You don't have no access to them. And you don't really know what their lifestyle is like. You don't know the sacrifices that they make. And as far as them not being able to spend an extraordinary amount of time with their family every day because they grinding and they hustling. You don't know nothing about that life. You don't know nothing about the grind. You don't know nothing about waking up at 4.30 and 5 in the morning every single day. That's what my life has been like for the last 10, 12 years. I get up at 4.30 in the morning every day. Every day. It don't matter if I'm meeting with my Patreon members and I'm out of town. I'm still on Eastern Standard Time and I'm still getting up at 4.30 in the morning every day. I don't miss. I don't take days off when it comes to being able to pour into y'all. That's what it takes. Why do I do it? Because I don't want you to have any excuses as to why you can't do it. Yeah. Why is Anton showing his W-2 on a Patreon exclusive video today? Why is he willing to show you that? It's not just motivation and inspiration. It's to show you that, yeah, I do still have a corporate job or I got a corporate job back in September. I did still continue to get to the bag because I want all of my money. All of my money, I want to maximize the amount of time or the amount of money that I'm generating during the time that I'm awake because my time is valuable and is worth something. When I divide my 8,760 hours into whatever it is that I'm doing on a daily basis, into my yearly income, my number is A. Your number is Z. It's a difference because I'm doing extraordinary things Not because I'm more talented than you, not because I'm smarter than you, not because I have any leg up on you in life whatsoever outside of the fact that I'm willing to overwork, grind, and do the extraordinary things. Let me tell you what extraordinary really means. It means that you a basic B. Let me say that again. You a basic B. You get up just in enough time to not even brush your teeth and to get to work At the nick of time, some of y'all work from home and you still can't even get online for your first meeting on time. You don't even have the sleep out of your eye. You think that you can work five hours out of your eight hour shift every day, wake up almost just in time and enough time. Listen, if it wasn't the great resignation and it wasn't a shortage of jobs, you would probably be fired. You think that you're going to show up. Do the least amount possible not to get fired. Jump on here, type hard, and that you're going to beat me or be more successful than me. How? How? How is that even possible? Mathematically, listen, as a software engineer, when you look at things in a series of ones and zeros, 
Everything has to mathematically add up. How is it possible for you to be able to passively, mindlessly stumble your way through life and have a more successful marriage than me, have better business acumen than me, being able to communicate and network more effectively than me, making the right connections more than me, be able to tap in with your people more than me, and be able to create a better product in any way, shape, or form, and I don't sleep. You should be thanking me and congratulating me and using me as a model for how it is that you need to live your life because you're lazy. You are the laziest person that you know. I'm not even going to say that I know. That you know you are the laziest person ever. You never did what it take in order to even finish school. You probably dropped out. You never finished nothing. You didn't finish college. You didn't. You barely graduated high school. And if it wasn't for the No Child Left Behind Act, you need to be like thanking your local legislator for put pushing that through just so you can be able to run in the victim Olympics. You blame everybody else for your problems. It's always women fault. Your kids don't like you. They don't like you on the Internet. Your mama don't like you. Your dog can barely look at you. And if you didn't feed them, they'd be running out to go to somebody else. Everything about your life is average or below average. And for some reason, you think that you deserve what everybody else is grinding every single day going to get. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I, as a matter of fact, would advocate that you need to be grouped. All of these lazy people, honestly, need to probably be a part of these squid games. Let's bring the squid games for lazy people in the real life. Squid games for the lazy people. Because you are literally just breathing, taking up air, pissing and taking a dump, adding methane gas into the atmosphere, being a part of climate change, have not contributed anything to society whatsoever, ain't even got a positive word that come out of your mouth. And for some reason, you think that you're supposed to be on the same level and be able to participate in a conversation. How? What? Who? What? When? Where? How? 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 Why? Why should we look? Why should anybody pay attention to anything that you got to say? If it wasn't for us on a Lapeef network, half of these people wouldn't you wouldn't even know their name. Let's be real. Let's be real. We work hard so that we can pour into everybody else and put people on. There is nobody, not one person that can say that Anton did them dirty. How are you going to get extraordinary results and you never made right and apologize to the people that you did dirty before you went over here and decided that you wanted to create another life for yourself? No, you still have demons and skeletons that you need to solve for. And it ain't right. It ain't right. You know, the prayer that I pray on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all just going to have to give me some room to work. You know, the prayer that I pray that hit me more than every other prayer that I pray when I get up at 4.30 in the morning, brush my teeth, meditate, and then have a conversation with God. You know the prayer that really, really hit me more than anything that really opened my eyes? Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. That line, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. If we are to be forgiven or treated according to how it is that we treat other people and forgive other people, then what does that say about you? If I see a person, another person keep trying to tell me that they can't go back and make something right or people did them wrong. How many people did you do wrong? How many people did you turn around and go and make right? But you expecting somebody to come back and do something extraordinary and got to go out of their way to make sure that you're taken care of. Everybody got a story. Everybody went through something. Everybody got problems. I promise you, me included. You know what we don't do? We don't make excuses. We go back and we make it right. And then we pay it forward by pouring into other people so that at the end of our days, not only did we make this earth a better place as a result of it, we reaped all of the rewards while we were here. So we lived heaven on earth and we gonna make it to heaven. And then last but not least, we made every single person that we came in contact with. We can be accountable for our actions. And we could go back and we can hold our head high and say, yeah, I was better for this earth as a result of being here than had I never been born. For some of y'all, you should have never even came out of your father's cock. Real talk. Your only purpose in life is to display to us what not to do. 
No more complaining. No more running in the victim Olympics. We playing squid games over here. It's the survival of the fittest. None of that. We not depending on the government. We don't care about what nobody else is saying. We are literally tuning out all of the negativity, focus on the positivity, making things right, continue to, uh, to forgive other people. Yeah, that count. Forgive other people and continuing to push forward. If it's not something that's actually going to add value to your life, divest yourself from it. Go and make right all of the different people that you interacted with in your lifetime. And let's continue to get to this bag. You have to do extraordinary things in order to get extraordinary results. If you wake up in the morning and you look at your bank account and you look at your chick and you look at your kids. And if all of it is average or below average, it is a reflection of the work that you've put in. You're an average basic B end of discussion end of story. Nobody cares about how you feel. Nobody cares about what you think you deserve. You, you eat what you kill. You eat what you kill. No longer are we ever subjecting ourselves to this mindset of, of being average. I don't want no average thinkers. Now, listen, I can deal with somebody that's currently in an average space, but they're continuously working towards being something better than what they normally are. All I care about is growth. All I care about is results. All of this average basic B junk, you can keep that. I'm not sitting here listening to people complaining about the women and the ladies. And the, and the, but, but for most people, the divorce rate is 50%. What? My marriage success rate is 100%. What are you talking about? I'm 100 out of 100 when it comes to me being successfully married. You keep your fifty percent. You can, listen. I might have been a C student when it comes to that that classroom, but I'm an A student when it comes to effort and winning in life. End the discussion. Get your way together and stop complaining about everybody else and start participating in your own success. Because ain't nobody coming to save you. We gonna give you the game, but we can't dip your head in the water and make you drink. Get your life together, fam.